I made several videos about the Simple Link Sub 1 GHz radio launchpad here, the CC1310, and I've always focused on the radio part, on sending and receiving data uh, to another launchpad. But what I'm going to check out now is the sensor engine that is embedded into the microcontroller. This chip has three intelligent parts. There is the ARM core here that does the main crunching. There is a radio core, which is also a microcontroller. And then there is this uh, sensor controller engine. It's a little state machine that's specialized in dealing with sensors uh, running on low power, keeping the rest of the ship asleep. And only when something interesting occurs, maybe an analog pin that uh, goes above or uh, below a certain threshold or information from uh, a digital sensor, then it can wake up the arm core on this chip and start doing some intelligent things. And if then it turns out that it needs to transmit data, it can also wake up the radio and start a communication. But the main thing is that almost the whole ship can stay asleep all the time and that only this a sensor controller engine has to run on low power and check its inputs at regular times then make decisions. I have connected the potential meter to one of its analog outputs so we'll have a look at the project that deals with that. When we have a look at the block diagram of our microcontroller unit we have three intelligent blocks the main CPU which is an ARM Cortex then the radio which is also an ARM microcontroller and then here that sensor controller engine. You can make certain domains go asleep and leave other domains active at a given time. And in our case, we are going to keep the sensor controller active. It will talk to one of the ADC inputs at regular times and then do some intelligence based on that. In the meantime, both this, the main CPU and the radio CPU will be asleep. The TI RTOS distribution for our microcontroller has an example that uses that sensor controller engine. It's part of the wireless sensor network example. That wireless sensor network example has two parts, a node example and a concentrator example. And the node example uses the engine. I'm going to load the node part of that example in Code Composer Studio, and then we can have a look at some of the aspects. So it's imported. And in this video, we are going to focus on one folder of the example, and that's the folder that contains the files for the sensor controller engine. You can see a number of uh, C and H files, but you can also see a file that's called SCP, and that's a file that can be opened in the Sensor Controller Studio, an application from Texas Instruments that is dedicated to configure uh, the sensor controller engine and also to test it outside of any project. So you can just load your project into that tool and you can directly run the sensor engine and you can directly start sampling your analog inputs or your digital sensors. So let's kick off the studio and open this project file. This is our project, it's called ADC sample. We have one task which is also called ADC sample. We have a input output mapping, a code generator utility, and a utility to test our program directly from the studio. And that's what we're going to show here. So let's first have a look at our task. We define our task that we will be sampling a single ADC input, uh, which is called AD input. And in the IO mapping, we can define which input that is. We are going to use our launchpads uh, IO26. Do a double check that your launchpad is selected on the left side and check if it's really IO26 that's selected here. Then let's have a look at the initialization code. There is something that I want to point out. If you load the example from TI Arthos, you'll see that it will contain a fixed value here and that's not what we want. We want to use the value that's selected in our IO mapping and that's a value that is reflected here in our constants AD input. It is called AD input because in our task definitions we have defined that the pin is called AD input here. We can leave the rest of the code as is, so both execution and termination code we don't change, and we can go testing. Let's first generate our code, and then go to the testing tab. There is two ways of testing. You can do the low level testing, and in that case you have the possibility to run the termination code and the initialization code separately. I'm going to use the simplified workflow and test it straight away. Let's connect to the launchpad. 
and this is the value that we are going to sample so take care that this is selected otherwise it doesn't show on your graph and then you can run this whole thing when I move the potentiometer that's connected to the ADC line I can change the value of the input and it is shown directly here in the studio and that's it for this exercise the next time we will use the code that we have generated in a real project.